Good day, good day. How the honk are ya? <laughs> Welcome to Roverland. Yeah, this is a channel that's all about anything and everything Land Rovers. I'm your friend Dan O. And we've got an unboxing Saturday for you today. Yes, welcome to Saturday. Well, as you see, I got a couple of these buggers, so we're gonna open one up. How do you like that? Well, all right, let's get into it. Let's take care of these. We're not gonna open all of them. We're just gonna open one of them, huh? How's that, huh? We're gonna open this bugger up because it, it was kind of already open. All right, so what we've got is Britain's authentic family uh, farm models. There you go. I can read. I really can. It's Saturday morning and I'm awake. <laughs> All right. What we've got is a 132nd scale Britain's uh, Land Rover Discovery. And a little bit about Britons, if you don't know. And I'll, I'm going to do another video on uh, Britons and all I have uh, in on um, my Britons models. Um, maybe a couple of them because I got a couple of different uh, things going on. But anyway, the founder was William Britton Jr. Yes, uh, way back in uh, well, 1907. But anyway. Let's zip ahead to this era here. And what we're looking at is a 1997 Britain's Land Rover Discovery at 132nd uh, scale. And uh, by 1997, Britain's Petite LTD was bought by none other than Ertl. Yes, Ertl of Dyersville, Iowa. Now, I have done uh, videos on uh, Ertl's before. I've got a couple of different Ertl's. Um, <clears throat> I think I might be able to, excuse me, I think I might be able to, uh, at the end there, tag them. Uh, let's see if uh, I can get that found. But anyway, uh, here we go. This is the uh, bottom has got the most information there. And... Um, the biggest information that we've got here is the Ertl Company, Inc., Dyersville, Iowa, and that's distributed by UK, uh, by British Petite uh, LTD, you see there. And uh, so, yeah, made in Macau. And, uh, yeah, so, and then the... Uh, Oh, where did it say? I thought it said there. Yeah, 19, yeah, right there. 1997 is uh, when about this was made. Now, you know, man, there isn't a lot of information to look up in, uh, you know, a database like uh, the BAMCA for, uh, you know, Matchbox. Uh, so, you know, it's kind of hit and miss. So anyway, now the ones that I did see, uh, I think, the ones that I could find eBay and Google and such, they had this striping just solid down down here. This uh, 132nd scale was up in here. And then, uh, well, no, it wasn't. It was a big block, a big red square block that one said 137. And I think the Britons was over here in a little decal. So that was the only one that I could find. And I'm assuming that that was uh, the UK market versus this is the Ertl U.S. market, because I did, um, most of these I think I bought from a store. I couldn't tell you which one. Uh, none of them have a, a price sticker on them, but uh, I do remember uh, there was a, uh, uh, I think I bought them from a, a toy store in La Crosse, I want to say, uh, that was kind of um, high-end baby Bajorn <laughs> stuff. But anyway, so that's a look around the package. We already took a look at that, so let's get at it. Already about five minutes into the video, we haven't even cracked it open. What the heck? Cheese ball stand. It's an unboxing Saturday. Let's get the unboxing. Check that out in there, huh? Yeah. The other thing that I thought was kind of weird. <laughs> Hold on, we'll get to it. The other thing I was kind of weird is, as, as you guys know, um... 
Hot Wheels always face to the right. Matchbox always faces to the left. Well, Britain, and, and I, I looked up this model, number, uh, oh, by the way, it's 9480. I looked up this model, and there was a couple of different ones. They were left and right and right and left, and so um, kind of interesting. I really didn't see this uh, green colored one. I saw that they had a maroon one, but uh, and a special rally one. Wow, look at that sucker. That's quite the... Quite the packaging there. This is the this is the car, and then it's got all this backing here. So let's get this uh, open here and see what we've got here. So this is a nice protective there. All right, get this out of the clamshell. Oh, there was no booby prize at the bottom. I thought maybe there <laughs> might be a booby prize at the bottom. All right, here she is, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's take a look. All right, we've got the uh, uh, oh, music took off. <laughs> so supposedly it's got suspension. So there it is. There's a suspension it's got. Pretty neat. And uh, what did the box say to? Oh, the rear door. The rear door opens. Which right away. Um, all right, there it is. It opens. <laughs> all right. There you go, it opens. Uh, but the only thing is, the back door doesn't have a window in it. I'm sticking my finger right through there. Unbelievable. It's got an interesting um, rubberish rear tire that fits on there. It's not a, it's the cover. Got a nice decal on there, the old Discovery uh, decal. Oh, Discovery. 94 got nice it and not a hitch now I did see one of these like in a two-pack the rover was on top and then below was a trailer and that was kind of spendy of course nice clear windows no opening parts other than the rear door nice big rear hitch there it does have the correct uh, gas can oh gas filler door there no, this is 94, so that would be the first first model. No uh, real lens details in the front there. Just kind of uh, painted, no lenses or anything like that. Kind of almost has the uh, squirt there for the headlights, you know, the washer spouts for the headlights. Not really sure if that's a bull guard or if that's supposed to be the, yeah, the surround or what. It kind of doesn't fit all that well. And then it's open on the side there. And then that sticker on the nose there, the Land Rover sticker, that's just kind of an interesting sticker there. Barely legible. That's just stuck right on the front. Nice license plate there. Got the balance underneath. Pretty nice. Accurate wheels. That's the old Land Rover wheels there. Got a side marker on it. Got mirrors on it. The mirrors are rubber. Pretty neat there. The inside is pretty cool. Of course, it's got the double sunroof known for the uh, Discovery. The uh, stage seating really isn't too much stage. It, Front seats are just about as high as the back seats. But, uh, yeah, all in all, it's not a bad model. I mean, it's pretty heavy. It's a uh, metal die cast on the top. Here's the bottom. And uh, pretty plain Jane there. Uh, let's see if we can get in on this here. Yep, Britain's 1993. Now, that says over here. Yeah. And then made in Macau. But uh, really no real uh, details under here. You know, just some, you know, plating and stuff like that, but no real running gear. I mean, there is some there. And then the rear, rear protective plate there. But yeah, it's got the little mud flaps. Those are hard plastic, the bottom hard plastic with the running boards. I like the color, the color is really nice. Uh, of course, green is my 
you know, favorite color. You could <laughs> paint a cow pie green and I'd say it was pretty. <laughs> oh, cheese balls. All right, well, there you go. It is a uh, right hooker. There you go. But a uh, nice little model, 132nd uh, scale, Britain's Land Rover Discovery. I know you guys have more uh, Britons than this, because I do, but uh, I had this one and we're uh, going to unbox it, so there it goes. It's free and it's going to sit out and collect dust now, that's for sure. <laughs> Alrighty, that's going to be it for an unboxing Saturday. Thanks for joining me. Come over and join me on Facebook, Instagram at Roverland Channel, Facebook at Roverland. Make sure you join the group over there so you can post all your pictures of your Britons and uh, other things. Alrighty, that's going to be it. Thanks a lot for joining me today. Slow traffic, keep right, and have a great Rover day.